Okay, before someone yells at me, I do understand that the Viper Mini would be a better comparison, but I don't own one. So, welcome to a quick comparison between the Logitech G203 and the Razer Death Adder Essential. Basically, Logitech's cheapest now. Versus one of Razer's cheapest mice. So, on a Basilisk, essentially, you get lots of, um, on a, on a Basilisk, essentially, God. So, on a G203, the clicks are not too much pre, not too much post trial. Not perfect clicks by any means, but. I'd say they're above average. Now, on the Death Adder Essential, the same cannot be said. They have a, the click is not actuated, not actuated, not actuated, and it finally actuates. Then it goes all the way down. These are not. It's not as bad as our number, honestly. But yeah, these are still. I think it depends where you press in the click. Not not great. They also feel really mushy. Um, scroll wheel. Is um, on a Death Adder Essential. It's kind of more of a productivity one, but it seems like it. I can't tell if it's just my finger or the scroll wheel kind of feels a bit. Also, when you rattle it, there's much sense to rattle, but the scroll wheel just kind of feels weird. Um, G203, not the most amazing scroll wheel, but much better. Side buttons, G203 wins in that category. Um, and I'm, I mean, pretty close to. A bit more pre trial than I'd like, but pretty good sideburn. The fatter essential has a ton of pre trial. The side buttons don't even press in properly, they press in at like an angle, which to be fair is somewhat common, but still, um, not, not a fun thing. And then, sensor wise, the G203 Light Sync and Death Adder Essential are pretty similar, I believe. I don't think one. LOD wise, because this is the Prodigy version, I can't really test it like to like. The Prodigy version has better LOD, but that's kind of to be expected. Um, cable, I'd say the Death Adder Essential has. Neither of these mice have good cables, but I'd say the Death Adder Essential probably has the better cable. But they're actually pretty similar in retrospect. Um. And then, and then um, feet wise, um, both these mice just have like standard Teflon feet, but the Death Adder Essential is a lot more scratchy, so I'd say the G203 wins there. Also, I forgot to mention the software, but um, I'd say I'd say the um, G203 because it has RGB control and um, more DPI options because it uses Steps 50 is probably the better option in that regard. And so, <laughs> and I and you might ask, like, where did the Death Adder Essential win? Well, that's a good question. Um, I only think the mouse really wins with maybe the maybe um, it's larger. So if you play Minecraft and Butterfly Click, it's a good option. Also, if you prefer ergonomic for Sam good extra mice, it's you know better just by default. But it's just like such like mundane stuff. Everything else it gets absolutely destroyed. So yeah, G203, um, if, especially if you're able to handle the shape, buy this over this any day of the week. And buy the Viper Mini over to Death Adder Essential any day of the week, it's garbage, I don't know why I ever liked it, and uh, yeah, bye.